Hello, hi. In this video I want to show you how to gold plate a spanner, 16mm in this case. Just a normal spanner. Um, I already stripped the chrome in a chrome stripping tank. Um, yeah, which I've done, which I haven't got up here, I have it downstairs. Um, so now I basically clean it. So it's nickel now what's showing. So I use most of the time I use MPU anyway. You can get it in my eBay shop, MPU compound or um, on my website golden solution dot co dot uk golden solution no s on the end or eBay shop golden silver zero one have a look around if you can't find anything there, you go on the spa planning website and you find everything. So I use MPU here, you can see. I normally don't speak, or not on a lot of videos, I speak most of the time. I have music and add everything with the writing, you know. Uh, but have a look at other videos, how to remove chrome. I've done it in a tank. I use MPU, you can see, just MPU compound. It cleans and activates at the same time, which is brilliant stuff. I love it. I use it for the last... MPU I lose, used for the last eight, nine years. Before I used cleaner and activator, I used sometimes cleaner and activator. Now you can... it doesn't contaminate MPU. So you can rinse it if you want after using it. Or you can wipe it off with a clean tissue. You know, it's not a problem. You can you can even leave it on if you really want to, but it, it will not contaminate or anything. It will still play it, so it cleans and activates at the same time. So you can see there's no. I don't know if you can't really see in the picture. There's no uh, water breaks. Perfect. It's perfect. This stuff. For me. It is the best invention uh, uh, when it comes to plating, brush plating, because you can see how quickly it's going on here. We use only a little bit of gold here anyway. It's it's for show purposes. This one is going in, in a frame, so only one side will be shown anyway. So, I, of course, I do both sides, of course. <laughs> you can't only do one side, but I don't put a lot of gold on. I, I would say 0.1, maybe 0.2 of a micron. I reckon it's only point 0.1. I can test this. I will put another video up soon um, where I played gold plate a small piece, which are you can work it out on a spa plating website. You know, when you want to play it, say one micron, two microns. I mean, there are people that say, "Oh, I'm plating five microns." Okay, we have on a spa plating. Uh, we have an XRF machine which is basically x-ray machine you can put an item and it's gold plated under there and it will tell you exactly how much gold is on there how many microns and you will be most of the people who have done gold plating in the past will be surprised big times because we had one customer he came and he said oh there's two and a half microns are plated on there it was 0.3 or 0.4 in some areas, in some areas 0.5 because it is unless you do it in a tank, some areas are well more plated. If you do brush plating than other areas, even in a tank, it's not 100% even because some areas who are closer to the anodes to the electrodes are plating, of course, a little bit more. But tank is a different story; it's a little bit more well complicated. Because, I mean, if you want to plate one micron or so, half a micron, most people, most plating shops, most pla people who do brush plating, plating 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 maybe of a micron, not much more. So, I um, always be careful with a crocodile clip when I plate. And, yeah. Because otherwise, even if it's copper, it's already it looks gold, but it's of course it takes the gold on. But it is copper, and copper is quite soft, but gold is even. What is gold? Nearly softer. 
Gold is bloody soft. Gold is very soft. <laughs> Just realized. Gold is 216. 216. In a wicker's hardness and copper is well nearly double. Copper's a lot harder than gold. Gold is very, very soft and so you must be very careful when it's very soft in this case what I do here now <laughs> you shouldn't do it like this really. I try to get away with um with using only the flat electrodes here what I use because you have a big area. But inside of course it's you need fourteen thirty. It's fourteen thirty. You need to use um a round one. Now I've picked up the round one. Just a normal electro. I've got a couple of cables, so I don't need to swap the cables. I've got a few cables, so I can use three, four, five electrodes at the same time. And all I stuck them up on the side of this tray there, what you can see in the background. Um, now I'll do the inside. I've got magnetics, little magnet magnets on there, and I stick them on there, simple and easy. Of course, I rinse everything quite well and clean it before I put it on and so on. So you can see now I do the inside, which is important, will be seen eventually. And yeah, now I go over a little bit again, or some areas to make sure everything is covered. Of course, in this case, you need only coverage because it will never be touched. It will never be used really. Well, it will never be used. If it's an item which you use, I've got one spanner in my toolbox which I've used, but you need to put on a lot of gold to make it work. Otherwise it comes off very quickly. So this is done now, or is it? I'll go over again a little bit inside. Um, and then basically rinse it well. Rinse it well. Yeah, take a tissue, clean it, you know, dry it, and basically chop down. I I <laughs> I go over and over again. I I I'm normally I'm finished now, but I'm still going over. I don't even know why, <laughs> because there's no point. It's already plated, and it doesn't make any difference now, unless apart from the thickness, but in the shade. If I play 1.1, 1 .1, uh, 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 or point or 1 micro or 5 microns, you will not see a difference. Soon it's covered. So 1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of a micron, you can't see the difference between 0 0.2 of a micron or 10 microns. You can't. Some people say you can, but I could guarantee you, you can't. Um, yeah, it's done. It's rinse it well. Is it is a chemical on the end, so always wear gloves and everything. And you've seen the meter on the background. Oh god, so I've done it now, you can see it. This is the side which will be shown. This is the side which will be not shown really because only the front will be it will be in a frame. So the back side, this side will not be shown anywhere. And there are bad scratches on there. Bad scratches. Very fine, not it's a brand new spanner by the way. Very, very fine scratches on the bed, uh, but uh, this is why when I stripped the chrome in the tank, yeah, I polished it with a polishing mop because it, to get all the fine scratches out, it didn't look good at all, even if it was a new item. Yeah, that's about it, it's finished basically. So, any questions, phone up, email info at gold, um, info at golden solution co UK or www.goldensolution.co.uk eBay shop golden silver zero one or go on the spa plating website. I have a link on the spa plating website as well. I'm part of spa plating. I do the German part and so on. Everything is from spa plating basically. And yeah, any questions? Answer. Leave a comment. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, thanks very much, and speak to you, or see you later. Bye.